how do you connect with the number 10? The 10th of a month, uh, the month of October. The time I'm getting married. You're getting married in October? That's OK. Yeah, yeah. Who's the mother figure for you on the other side? I have a mother, yes. My oh, mother. it's your mother? Okay. My mother, yeah. Oh, OK, that's because a mother energy stepped forward with a piece of lace. Oh saying that I know that you were going to incorporate me in the I just brought it to my house last week. It's her, it's a piece of her veil that I'm using. That's so weird. <laughs> my mother was my best friend. We did everything together. She was just always there for me. She was very caring mom, very protective mom, very just, I can't even put into words. Your mother comes over and she whispers in my ear, Teresa, you would love her wedding because it's all about the bling. Everything is going to be <laughs> blinged out. Oh, that's exactly what I say. And that's, that's the term I've been using this whole time Perfect. to plan my wedding, so. You picking up your hair, and then it's going to be like kind of up and down. You got it. That's my, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I don't got it. Your mother's well, yeah, got, got it. <laughs> I can't believe it's just shocking that it's, I know, know yeah. that. Like, she knows that. That's so comforting that she because, knows that because she's taking a part and, you know. So know what you've decided. If you feel, oh, my God, my mom <laughs> would be pulling this all together yes. for me. Know that your instinct, that is your mom guiding you. When she was passing, we weren't engaged yet, but I knew I was going to marry him. And she liked him very much. And he had asked her her permission. And she said, yes, of course. When I was little, I always dreamed of a big wedding with her there. So it's, it's very tough that my mother won't see me get married or have children and live, you know, live my life. Um, your mom says, I want you to know that um... I felt you um, sit with me after I died. And she says, I heard every word. And she says, in every moment, Teresa, that my daughter goes through, she says, Mom, I wish you were here. And I had a hard time saying that because I said to her, of course you'd say, you know, um, I wish you were here. Yeah. Um, and. Your mom just said, gee, I'm right here. I'm right beside you. My mother passed away almost two years ago from lung cancer. She went to the doctors. Doctor said it's bronchitis, put her on antibiotics. And it didn't go away, the coughing, the chest pain. Um, so she got a CT scan and it showed a little nodule in her left lung. And that was shocking to us because she wasn't, I mean, she wasn't a smoker, she wasn't, you know, how could this happen? And she seeked treatment, chemotherapy, which was a battle. And I stuck by her through that whole time and watched, you know, it's just, that's the hardest thing, is thinking about, you know, how she suffered. But um, she, it just, the cancer is just so aggressive. She ended up dying like, I think a year after she was diagnosed. Who is the father for you that's on the other side as well? The that's father my, figure. That's my father. I said to you, Mom, you didn't prepare me for that. And um, she said, Teresa, she said, I didn't know how to tell you that both of us were gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't imagine my life without my parents. Very sorry about that. Your father, I just need a minute. My father died 11 years ago from a heart attack. It was so sudden. We didn't expect that. He was 43 and he was healthy. Dad was a good dad. Dad was a very hard worker. And he was very funny, made fun of everyone. <laughs> like, he, was, he had everyone in the room laughing. So I missed that a lot. My mother and him were very close. They loved each other. So 
when my, my dad passed away, it really broke her heart. I was 16 at the time. And for me to her just mourning was, was so tough for me. You know, there's something about your dad. I looked over at him three times and he was crying. And he said, just tell my daughter I'm sorry. Do you understand that? Yeah. I feel that it's not being able to be here. Do you understand yes, that? Yes, I do. And your father said to me, I want my daughter to know that no matter how much time has passed, mm -hmm. I've never left her. So know that your father will be there giving you away as well. Do you want to know if your father was there for your mom when she died? Yes. Because your mother said to me, I want to show you something. Um, and she showed me a, film, a quick film strip of you laying in the bed with her and you visualizing your father's soul coming for her and her soul leaving with your father. Is that correct? Yes. So no, your mom says that's exactly what happened. Know that your father's soul came for me and I did leave with him. And I can see them walking away holding hands. So if that's the way you visualize your parents, know that that is how your mom's soul crossed over and went to heaven with your father. I remember that night um, being in the room when she was passing away. And I just envisioned, like, I hope he's here. I hope he's taking her with him and that they were together. Like, that's what I wanted to know. And that's what I got today from Teresa. Just to know that they are together right now makes me so happy because they, they love each other so much. And that's just so comforting. Um, so know that what I love about your parents is that they did an amazing job. Your dad gave you the gift of knowing that even though he's been gone for some time, that his soul hasn't left you. And he says, I want you to know that through everything that mom has done with you, I am right beside mom. Do you feel that people don't really understand? So that they're making me feel that. Okay. So I'm going to say to you, I understand and I'm sorry for that. My wish for you is that you know that through everything that you do in your life, your parents are proud of you. They're supporting, loving, and guiding you from heaven.